Hi there, this is Mike Soliday. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the overview of Microsoft Word and show you a couple techniques of how to get around and navigate in Word 2007. Uh, first couple things we want to talk about is, you know, what is Microsoft Word and what can it be used for? Microsoft Word is a very high-end word processing program. It allows you to type in reports, allows you to type in documents and letters, that, that's just not the only thing it, it can do. It can actually create uh, brochures. It can do newsletters. It can even create a web page. So what's, what's nice about this is that it can handle a variety of different things that um, you want to do in your own business, and uh, your own uh, personal life, and so forth. Another thing that I like about Microsoft Word is I can bring in items from Excel, such as an Excel chart. I can bring the things in from PowerPoint. I can also go in and at Christmas time create greeting cards and merge my data that I store in a database called Access, which has all the information on addresses of all my family, and merge that into the greeting card so I don't have to actually write it out. It actually will print it out automatically for me. So Microsoft Word basically is a, a great program that allows you to do a variety of different things. Now what I want to do here is just look at the Word environment and concentrate on this. It is a new environment so if you've been using 2003 or any earlier version you'll notice that there's some new things. So I want to spend a little more time on this portion of showing you how to get around in Microsoft Word. First thing I want you to notice at the very top is your title bar. This is where it says document one and it says Microsoft Word non-commercial use. The title bar, once you give it a name, the title will actually change up there so you know what the name of the report is. Another important part over here is these buttons that we have over to the left of your title bar. Mine has a floppy disk that stands for save. This is your quick launch bar. You can actually add um, the quick access toolbar, you can add a variety of shortcuts up here that you use often. And what I have to do is a lot of times I will automatically add these extra commands because I need to get it to it quickly and you can do so by adding it right up here in the quick access launch bar. Over here to the very left is our office button. We do not have the, the menu system anymore such as the file, edit, uh, view and so the, the closest we have right now is the office button. When I click on the office button this is where you're going to find a lot of the commands that you used to find under the file menu in your earlier versions of the office product. So if I come down here I can create a new document if I wanted to. I can come here and do a save as. Uh, keep in mind here they have a lot of different choices that we can choose from. For example, I can save it as a regular Word 2007 document, but if I'm working with clients, I might have to save it back to Word 97 2003 because not everybody is using the Word 2007 program. So you, they gave you the opportunity to be able to save back. This is also where you can come in and do your printing. Um, the print preview option is an excellent option to look at your document before it's printed so you can see how it's going to actually look like when it prints. You can also do a couple other things. For example, um, you can set up certain properties for your document and I usually don't do that but that some people will go in put the title of the Word document, they'll put in a subject for later use. Some businesses will require you to do that but most people will not. I can also take this Word document and send it right as an attachment in my email if it's attached, if your email program is attached correctly. It automatically would open it up and put the attachment part of your email program. So I can do it right here from Word and it makes my life a little bit easier. I can also go in if I'm big and I'm creating things in MySpace or Facebook, I can actually publish it as a blog and I can take that information and bring it right over into MySpace. So it's a nice little feature that they've done in Microsoft Word for the new version. The another main feature that we have here that's a big difference is our ribbon bar. You know we have these ribbon bars that start with home 
insert, page layout, preferences, references, mailings, review, view, Acrobat. The home ribbon bar here, when you click on it, it's like a tab. It has a variety of different options. They try to divide it up into sections depending on what you're trying to work with. So if I type in a document and some words here, I'll type in my first and last name, I can highlight this and I can come up here and click on these options to change my style and my font. I can change the font size. See as I go up, see how the font gets larger? Another good feature is they know that you change your fonts real quickly. If you have something selected, if I select the word Mike, you will get a quick toolbar that comes up and this toolbar is the same option that you will see up here on my regular home ribbon bar. I can make my changes here. I can change the text color if I wanted to. I can go in and increase the font size. I can change the font if I wanted to. So what you have to get used to now, instead of having a couple toolbars that my, the earlier versions have, we have what we call our ribbon bars and we're able to go in and choose a variety of different styles. This one up here in our home section is where you're going to be most of the time and you're going to basically you, you, you know, modify your font, you're going to modify the paragraph so if you want to go in and add bullets or numbers you can and uh, a lot of these sections will have what we call as a little extra and it's at the bottom right hand corner of the section so where my mouse is right now if I click on that this will open up an extra dialog box and in that dialog box you'll have other options for example I can actually go in and select a word and make it uh, have it like an embossed look. I can also make it have an engraved look. Let me go in and click cancel this, highlight my word. I'll come up here again and I'll choose shadow and I'll choose, uh, well let me just choose shadow and I'll click OK. See it automatically adds a nice little shadow. It's not on the toolbar. You have to basically get to the dialog box and the only way to do that is click on the bottom right hand corner. We have other ribbon bars up here you just have to click on the tab so like if you have to insert a chart you have to insert a shape. Um, let me insert a shape here. I just go up here to shapes and they have all these different shapes I can use. So I can take this smiley face and draw my shape and if you're a student and you have a bad grade, I might give you a smiley face, but I might take this little yellow diamond, drag it up, and make it a sad face. So they have all these different options that you can work with. When you add a shape, you'll notice that this ribbon bar up here has now changed over to the format option, where I can actually go in and format the shape to have different colors, different effects. I can click on these styles, I can add a little little style to it and all I did here is click on this more button to add to get to a different list of styles I need to work with. So when you're going to find that when you click on something or when you select something in Word it automatically will change the toolbar or the ribbon bar that you're working with. You can come back over, click on insert, you can go in and insert a chart if you wanted to. You can go to page layout. This is where you can find your margins and adjust your, um, maybe add a page border to your document. You can actually, there are a variety of different things that are up here. Most people are going to use the home, the insert, page layout tabs and when they click on an object they'll probably work with the formatting ribbon bar that we have up here. Then of course down at the very bottom of our screen we have, it tells us what page we're on, where it says one of one, how many words we wrote, and over here different views. Most of the time we're going to be what we call as a print layout. If you accidentally go into a different view, you just need to learn how to get back to it because like an outline view, you won't see any graphics. It's good for typing in reports, but not for seeing the overall document. So I'd come back over to the print layout and I see my whole page. That's the best thing about using this view.